So we're troubleshooting the charging system and I figured first place I would start was this uh, pretty looking uh, regulator. So I took it off, there's three bolts that hold it, uh, 5 16 these, and the contacts on it were just so corroded and they're better, I'm still working on them. Um, and then we're going to have to get in there and clean these plugs as well. I, very carefully got this plug undone uh, because it was uh, very brittle the plastic on it and I do have the positive battery cable undone and these plugs as well just everything bad contact but while we have this off um, I was trying to do it without taking it off at first but then uh, you know I got to the front side the contacts and I was like well yeah, I might as well take it off and get the back side and then I thought these were rivets but they're these little push pins so I can push the center out and we'll take the cover off before I do that though I'm gonna spray this thing off with some bright cleaner just to kind of get some of the crud off of it before we open it up it's uh, pretty cruddy um, so we're gonna spray this off try to clean it up as best we can and then we're going to take a little file and all these little contacts we're going to clean until we get continuity. Now, yeah, so what this does, it brings down and it breaks contact. Uh, you know, when it's probably when it's charged up enough. We got three little sets of points. We're going to have to clean and make sure that they make contact. So let me get this thing cleaned up. Cleaning of the contacts and I finally got it to where all three are making contact. Um, let's see if I can, I don't have a tripod so we'll do the best we can. See, it makes contact, breaks, makes. All right, this one should do the same way. Yeah, And this one will be backwards. Alright, so let's put it all back together. So we're going to test the generator. I've jumpered the two wires on the generator and we're going to apply voltage to them and it should work as a motor. Alright, generator tests good. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and polarize the generator. So you can either do it on the regulator or at the generator. Um, you want to take a, you're going to go positive to field. And um, I came on right here. I can get to a positive right here on the B side of the regulator. It's kind of hard for me to get to the uh, field terminal on the regulator itself. But I can go down here to the field terminal on the generator and do it right here. 
and we sparked it. So, let's see if it works now. Start the tractor up. new regulator. You know, we know our generator tests good. Uh, and we know our wiring's good. So it appears we've got a regulator. It's probably one of these resistors or something. Uh, you know, those contacts are really dirty. We could have intermittent contacts. You know, who knows. But uh, regulator's about $17. It's a cheap fix, so we're going to go ahead and just order one, and we'll try it out. It's a few days later. I've got a new voltage regulator from Amazon. It was $17. Super cheap. We'll see how well it does. Um, went ahead and polarized the generator again. I didn't film that because I just did it with the old one. So same th same process and of course to get the regulator out you just got a screw or a little bolt here and two over here and then your plugs if you don't have this original plastic plug you know make sure you keep track of it of what's what and down here you've just got two battery wires so you could actually reverse these it doesn't matter this post converges together so let's crank it up
a little bit high on the voltage. Um, at maximum RPM so it's pretty good it's it might could use a little bit of adjustment you can well at least the original one you could adjust but we're gonna leave this one there for right now and uh, yeah for $17 oh, man I've done it twice that muffler the $17 uh, we have repaired the charging system. So, in the last video, well, no, it'll be in the next video. Depends on how I upload them. I was working on two things at a time, so charging system is done um, it looks like we've got a hydraulic leak over here we're gonna have to address but uh, one thing at a time so anyway thanks for watching I guess what will be next on this we'll probably take a little break on it I've got a birthday coming up and uh, a lot of times what I do for these projects and stuff like this that I have is uh, the way that I try not to spend money on it. Uh, what I like is parts. So like for Christmas, I ask for parts for the Mercedes. And so I've got my little shopping list of stuff for this tractor. Um, pretty much new cooling system, most of it. Um, radiator, hoses, um, I spaced that out too far. Radiator hoses. Um, the radiator is fine. Uh, thermostat, water pump, all that kind of stuff. That needs to be addressed next. So we'll do that. Uh, it looks like I need to add some axle seals. And then um, we're probably going to buy a seal kit for the top plate here and put those in. That will be. Um, uh probably later but yeah definitely the next thing will be will be the cooling system but i'm going to take a little break and get some work done on the suburban and so um it may be a little bit before we have another video on this tractor so anyway we've knocked out the electrical issues on this thing the electrical system except for lights the electrical system is perfect I'm not going to say perfect. It's fully functional. Um, we've got full, well, except for temperature gauge. I need a sending unit. But aside from gauges, electrical system is good. You know, it charges. It starts up with the key. So the safety switches work. You know, couldn't ask for more from a uh, old tractor. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.